Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. This article that I'm going to feature in this video is interesting because it proves a lot of points. One of them is this. When you're old, you have expertise, you have almost nothing to lose. Why don't you tell the truth? What are they going to do? Hang you? Uh, we're not there yet. But anyway, I'm talking about, uh, for instance, former generals or former politicians. Some of them come out and they say, you know what? What's going on in Ukraine is BS. Don't feed us the BS. Uh, you know, we're not going to fall for it. Like, for instance, you had the former German Chancellor Schroeder, Gerhard Schroeder. And they said, well, he is Putin's buddy and so on. What, is he, what does he have to lose? He's like, what, 70-some if he's not? He, does, he did everything. He's not in politics anymore. So he can say whatever he wants. Well, those guys can arrest him, you know, for uh, speaking uh, the truth. Uh, Germany has a very limited uh, freedom of speech. We know that one. So, you know, like you have generals. If you're 80 already, why don't tell the truth or however you see things? Don't follow the script. So this, in this case here, in this article, we have a retired general who's going to say certain things that are really, really bad. Bad why? Because he provides an assessment based on his, his expertise. Now, the expertise could be bad. I totally agree with that. But he's not the only one. He's saying this. He's just the one that right now is featured by Business Insider. So it's in the mainstream. There are other articles that have other experts or generals or colonels like McGregor saying all kinds of things about the Russian defenses. But he's put to the side, you know, the, the mainstream media do not invite Mr. McGregor, uh, Colonel McGregor, anymore. But this guy, let's see what he says. Because he's in the mainstream. So this is from Business Insider. It is from today, July 31st, 2023. Russia's defensive lines are, and I'm quoting, much more complex and deadly than anything experienced, experienced by any military in nearly 80 years, end quote, retired general says. Remember, this is not Sputnik. This is not Russia today. It is a business insider. So, mm -mm. so a retired Australian general, so he's out of the you know, payroll, described Russia's intimidating defensive lines to The Economist. So this is a positive uh, statement or assessment of the Russian defensive lines. That's not good. He called them, and I'm quoting, much more complex and deadly than anything any military has seen in about 80 years. Russia's strong defenses are hampering Ukraine's counteroffensive. So we, a retired Australian general described the defensive lines that Russia had built in Ukraine as, quote unquote, much more complex and deadly than anything experienced by any military in nearly 80 years, end quote. And the former office, Mick Ryan, told The Economist that breaking through those defenses would require the best of combined arms operational skills, something that the military analyst Michael Kaufman not Kaufman, Kaufman told, and not, uh, you know, told, this is a kosher, told the, uh, the outlet Ukraine had not shown at scale. Ukraine sta uh, started its long awaited offensive in June, did not do anything. So, anyway, uh, that's my uh, interpretation of it based on the articles and the uh, uh, information we are allowed to get from both sides. So, nevertheless, my friends, uh, that's why when I see, for instance, multi-billionaires that I know they know exactly what's going on in, uh, for instance, our society, I'm talking about the United States of America, they keep their trap closed. They don't talk about it. Even though in private they have a total different uh, opinion, in public they support the uh, perversity of a certain kind of policies here in the United States of America. So the same with some generals. I'm pretty sure they're not tards, you know, but they, keep, they still keep their mouth shut. Why? Because probably they have sons, grandchildren, and, uh, you know, probably they're in the military, and one of these statements will destroy his uh, family's uh, future possibilities to become important. And believe me, they look at life in those terms. 
Uh, so anyway, this guy says that it's not only his assessment. I read that in other other people, but not in Business Insider, CNN, uh, you know, right Reuters or uh, Associated Press. I read them. I read those assessments done by important former and current, but at, you know, in other little uh, outlets. Well, we'll see. Remember, the Russians were incapable of advancing more than they did for a, for a long time. So for the other guys to uh, advance, I think it's almost impossible if the Russians uh, were able to sit down and prepare their defenses. Um, I don't think the Ukrainians have anything that could uh, destroy the Russians. They don't have the number in both manpower and in weapons they don't have that they, they were not going to overwhelm the russians other than that what do we have what do they have the knowledge intelligence but you need to you know even if you know those guys there 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 but you got three bullets how are you going to kill all 15 positions you can't you're going to do puck 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 that's it and good luck if those reach the target and the rest are still alive so it's not only you know that you know things sometimes when you fight if you ever fought in a competition or in real life and you got tired as you know you see a lot of openings but you can't take advantage of them because you can't you can't kick the guy in the head because you can't get the leg up but his hands are down so things like this so you see a opening to the liver you know can you can't do it because your arms are like you can't even uh, do anything with them if you get that position the same here you don't have the possibility even if you have you see holes in the um enemies positions so i think they are more formidable than um, these guys in the west are telling us about and i also don't think the ukrainians are they have the strength the power military power to break through but time will tell it's not impossible i think it's very it's highly unlikely but we'll find out right right thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just